Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. And I have a fun little box to share with you and gift cards that go inside there. And we made one of these little um, boxes for my spring social. And so I'm gonna um, do it a little bit differently today because uh, you might not even have noticed this um, box in the catalog. So that's what we're going to do. Um, if you have never been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So I come live on my YouTube channel Monday for my mini graph Monday with a twist. Tuesday is my Teach Me Tuesdays. Today, Friday, are my dyes, shorts, and then Saturday, I just do a very quick like a little video set to some fun music, and it's just a recap of one of the videos um, from the prior week, just um, to remind you, you know, how much fun we had during the week. Um, so I am watching live with you off to the side. Um, I live out in the boonies in Arizona, and we don't have super, super um, good reception, so I have just found that my videos have much better quality if I tape them ahead of time. Um, then it um, hopefully has the closed captioning, all that kind of stuff, as long as everything goes okay. Um, if you were around um, Tuesday, I was late because, you know, technology will be however it wants to be. And so I was a little late because it was taking forever. So um, so thanks for being patient me, with me whenever things don't go as planned. So let me stop blabbing. Um, let me um, move this out of the way here. Hold on a second. Let's get it over there so it's not like blinding you when, you when I first turn the camera. Okay, so now close your eyes. I'm gonna get myself situated here. All right, so we are going to be using a few things today. So the stamp set I'm using are the is the Charming Sentiments. Now this actually has a die that goes with it, Sentiment Silhouettes. So if you don't have it, you might want to grab um, the bundle so you get the um, the die as well. I didn't use the die today um, but I do like it has um, a lot of different fonts some fun greetings so I'm using that I'm going to keep it there just in case as I go along if I change my mind and I need a different greeting I'll I'll have some more there I'm also going to be using the love for you and this is one of those that has the really fun layering of the letters so I'm going to use that as well I'm also using the Regency Park DSP. And where's my little, there it is. So Regency Park, <clears throat> and it's six by six. So this is probably a mix and match um, of a couple different sets or different packages because I get where um, I like certain ones for certain things. So then I seem to use up um, ones more than the others but this is a super fun little project to to use that paper up because it is six by six all right and it had and um, the regency park the colors are balmy blue mango melody night of navy petal pink shaded spruce and sweet sore bay so i did grab um just a couple of those so if I want to stamp anything, you know, in a different color, I have those at the ready. Oh, I have to share this with you. So now that Jeff is retiring, this is sitting on my desk, so that's when I see it. Jeff has retired, so now he's been doing more in his wood shop. But look at this cool cup he made me for my little baby um, stamping blends. Isn't that the cutest looking cup? Oh my gosh, it is so cool. And um, he just has fun out there. So. Um, I think he's going to start um, selling stuff because he's always like, that's for the inventory when he brings stuff in. And I'm like, well, I just really need that because it looks cute with my blending brushes in. So anyway, so that was like totally out of the topic, but I had to share because I reached over by it. Okay, so this is the little box that I'm talking about. So this is the craft note cards and envelopes. Now you may have just totally missed it in the catalog so it's where the cards and envelopes are 
on page 137 in the main catalog. And I always mark this because I always seem to go, okay, I need um, some basic white. And, I, and then I order these and then they come and they're the note cards and envelopes. Even though that's in big writing right there, I still, you know, sometimes do that. So I always go, you know, these are note cards. Only order them if you need the note cards. So anyways, all right. Now these are a note card size. But what is, there's 20 cards in envelopes. This handy dandy little piece of chipboard. You know, I like chipboard. I always hang on to that. All right. But you have... So you have all these cards and envelopes and then you have this box so let's put the box together just so it's out of the way because this is probably what's going to take me the longest to put together just because you move things this way and that all right so like I did the box for my goodies and guts you want to get all your creases going now some of these will go you know the other direction but I still like to get them creased but so did you notice this box in there because a few of the girls that did um, the spring social they didn't see that box in there so that's always fun right to find something that somebody I might have missed it's not fun to miss something but it's nice to bring it to your attention all right so we have our box now sometimes when you put boxes together you wish you had more hands all right so bring these in you're gonna bring this in so bring this down bring this down I want this like this okay so so see how this comes in like this and this just slides down and there's these little slots here so now turn it over here bring this over slide this down and then see how it latches kind of in there and then that way it's like it's put together without any adhesive and it's the nicest heftiest little box it's not um it's not like cardboard but it's got a few layers right when you fold and do all that kind of stuff so it's a, an awesome little box and i think that this would be a nice gift to give to somebody because isn't there someone in your life that is not a stamper they're always so fascinated with your hand stamp cards they're always like oh my gosh i could never do that well why don't you put together a little box for them and this is the perfect little thing and then they would have these hand stamp note cards to use to give themselves all right so we're just folding along so it's very similar to the base all right so bring these in like we did before it's just this one is just skinnier than the other one so fold this in like that bring this in fold that in like that okay then making sure you can see so these are in here this is in here but this goes this way and again there's these little notches and just get that in there and they go in the little notch and the more you put them together the easier they are easier they are all right so see you have your little box and your lid all right so let's decorate really quick the lid so like i said i'm just using some of this really fun regency park dsp and 
I wanted to use this one, the, you know, this one because it has all these different colors and it it's pretty much all the colors that I grabbed in the DSPs and it's just kind of shabby chic. I love, love shabby chic. All right, so we have this. I'm just gonna simply attach it to the box. Now you could use green tip glue too. I'm just using my seal since it's handy. All right. So that looks fairly even. All right, now this is that die I was talking about that has all the layers. So I'm gonna go, so I type, this is just that um, shaded spruce, basic white, and this is simply more of this DSP and it's just the back side of the DSP. All right, now I could have used the um, adhesive sheets, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna use my green tip glue that I've just put in this handy dandy little bottle. And I'm just gonna squeeze on here a little bit. So the adhesive sheet probably would have been better or even the um, foam ones probably would have been even more perfect, but. All right, and then we're just gonna lay this on here like that, and it just drops in place. And then where's my handy dandy little block? All right, so we're gonna put my little block on there so it can be my third hand while I'm gluing love. All right. But I thought this would be fun on the top of the box because you could give these to somebody like with all the cards. Now, if you do too many layers, you're not gonna be able to get all 20 back in the box, which is fine, right? You might wanna keep a couple and just give them, you know, maybe 10 or something like that. Or you don't have to give them Put them all in the box all right and then i'm just gonna do my love hold that let's see if the other one is glued looks good now let's do our love all right so we have our much love then it's going to come over onto here so it has a third layer. So I don't think that I remember in my old age, I don't think we've done one with three layers, but I wanted to do that just to make it emphasize more. All right, that should be good and dry. All right, because I don't want to glue that till I have, I, that I for sure have my love in the right spot. Okay, so that looks, Good, so I'm just gonna leave my love there just so that I glue this right. All right, so green tip glue. Because I'm gonna pop the whole thing up. So I'm gonna put all this stuff right on here. Good, but I wanna pop this onto here. All right, and then it even leaves you a little spot there. So you could take some of your DSP and cut a little flower out and put a little flower there. All right, so we have our love, much love. All right, so that's gonna go on here. And I'm gonna pop it, like I said, I'm gonna pop it up. Now I'm not gonna do all these cards, a stack here, because this is supposed to be a dies shorts. All right, so let's put that here. So it's not just, in, not like smack dab in the center. All right, so where is, so let's see here. Do we have any flowers I can cut out? Cause this also has flowers in that die. 
So there's there's quite a few flowers that I might end up cutting out eventually and popping on there. All right, but for now, it's good. So let's bring over some of our DSPs. Now I just cut the paper. So let's go, let's do a simple one. <clears throat> so this is three and a half by five. So this is four and three quarter by three and a quarter. Let me just measure it because I'm, I'm second guessing myself, which I do a lot. All right. This is, yeah, four and three quarter by three and a quarter. So I think that's what it said. So that's gonna go on the front as well as the inside. But then the DSP, then it's three inches by four and a half. Okay. And then the little piece that I put on the inside. All right, so let's do this real quick. So I'm just gonna stick this on the inside. And these would be awesome to have ready and you could leave them plain right like if you say you want to make some Christmas presents already and you want to make a bunch of these to give out just get them made and then you could always you know say you know you know your next door she's always sending thank you cards or whatever or, or maybe you have somebody that sends birthday cards to everybody they know then you might want them all to be birthday cards all right so I'm going to put this here. I'm going to grab my shaded spruce. And let's do wishing you everything wonderful. So that's going to go there. So that's going to go on the inside. And the front. Now the front, I have, where's this little striped paper? There it is right here. Okay. So I'm going to put this striped paper on the front. So I just kind of mixed and matched this DSP pack. So I have a little bit of, you know, some some colors and some fun but it also is keeping them not super bulky because they are a note card and like i said i want to be able to get as many in the box complete as i can or near to complete if you are going to um you know if you're not sure what you're gonna do with them then i have off to the side a whole bunch of die cuts because sometimes i get bored and i just sit you know, and I die cut. So I'm just gonna see what greeting this will go with. So wishing you everything wonderful is on the inside. So let's see if woohoo. Yes, so woohoo will go with that and it will fit on my on my tag. So do you ever do that? You have the TV on, you're binge watching, and what do they say about idle hands? Isn't isn't it it's bad to hide, have idle hands? I don't know. But, and I find if I sit and watch something, I fall asleep. So I like to be doing something as I'm watching TV. So I'll cut stuff out or, you know, or, or do some die cutting. So, you know, this is the perfect kind of thing and then you have this little stack of um dies you know that you can grab from all right so we have our little woohoo now i'm going to put this on with some glue dots so they're not as bulky as a dimensional but it's not going to be as flat as um just gluing it straight so it's going to have just a tiny little bit of dimension all right, so woohoo. That looks good. <clears throat> Let's bring our card over. Now I am gonna glue this right to the card though. I'm not gonna um, bump this up or anything. I'm just gonna stick it 
right down because also we want to make sure they're not too bulky so that they don't fit in the envelope you know very good all right so and this on the inside so this just spruces it up a little bit i didn't um put anything on the inside for spring social because um i just got them ready so then they could um to decorate them later they got all the um, fun dsp so there's one card done i won't put it in there so i'm going to show you at the end all right so let's see so this is that same paper all right let's see now i want to do some with some different dsp all right so this is that same dsp pack i'm just picking a different color all right and i think this is one of my favorite in there i have used this several times all right now what i want to do with this one to make it a little bit different i want to fold back the corner on the front so i'm just gently you know there could be a real way to do this but i just eyeball it so I just eyeball it so that I have similar size here. And then I have lost my bone folder. There we go. And then just take your bone folder and crease it. So now you can see the inside paper. All right, so let's take our seal and put this down and then we'll put this on the card on the front come on so this is kind of nice when there's um fun dsp on the back that you like that you go oh i don't know which one i like more well this way you don't have to decide because you're able to see both of them from the front and then the inside, I'm going to choose the stripes. Okay, so I'm going to put the stripes on the inside. But this is just a fun little pack. And you saw how easy it was to put the box together. So even if, you know someone isn't crafty it's fairly easy to do all right so let's stamp on these ones so i'm gonna go what is this one what is this one let me do so thank you is gonna be on the front so i'm gonna put beyond grateful on the inside And then this is a photopolymer, so I am using my, um, whatchamacallit, my foam, foam mat. Just give me an extra little gushiness. All right, so we're going to go, thank you. So now when you do this, especially when it's a note card, it's a little smaller, you know, than if we were doing like a um, A4 card, a regular card. So you just need to um, find a grading that fits. And that's why I chose this set because I have something on there. Hold on a minute. Because it was perfect for, um, it has just so many greetings. All right, I need to get that off of there. All right. No one will even see it but me. All right. Nobody would have even notice that. Okay. It's like Granny, she would crochet and she would s slip a stitch, I think she called it. But she wouldn't, you know, want to go back because she had gone so far. And she would forever, when someone would say, oh, I like that afghan or whatever. I slipped a stitch right there. <laughs> and she'd point it out and we're like, what? You know, we couldn't tell there was a stitch slip. So it's kind of the same way. Nobody would even notice it. But I would see it it would be blaring staring at me all right so let's get one of our little cards and they're already scored so i just kind of make my you know my little corner go together and just give it a good crease and then we can put oh my gosh where did that go oh here it is 
I'm all fungal fingers. All right. So put this on. I'm not, and I'm not even going to edit that out. Isn't that bad? Because it is what it is. All right. And then this goes on the inside. I love the striped paper. It's so funny because I was like, well, where's that striped paper? Because I wanted to use this paper. And I was like, where the heck is it? And I was like, oh, it's on the back side. So that's how I was like, well, I'm just going to fold that over. <coughs> Excuse me. And it looks super cute. Now, if you were going to be putting it, um, you know, maybe not inside the box, you could put a little something here so it looked like this was holding it down or flower from maybe more, more of the DSP. You could emphasize this a little bit better. Um, again, I want to keep them fairly thin so that I can get as many as I can inside the box. All right, so let's do one more because you're kind of getting the gist of it. Let's um, use this DSP though. So we've got some green and then I'll just finish these up on my own. All right, so now we have this fun green in this same pack. And I want to put this on the bottom. This is also fun. So I think I'm going to do one of these other cards where I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to like take this and fold it just so you can see what it's going to look like. Home folder. Just take your time so you don't tear the DSP. But does it that look cute? So you can see that um, rattan on the background. All right, so let's go back to this card. So we're going to put this on the front. Yeah, all right. And on the front. So this looks cute. I love polka dots. I love stripes. I love flowers. This paper has my name all over it. All right. So we have this. The inside will be this. And I think I'm just going to use the same ink the same green let's see here what does this one say super fantastic mega news so i have a fun little stylish shape circle and that will fit on there so let's go super fantastic mega news and what's the inside gonna say how about, let me trim this. How about, what did I put on the other one? Oh, okay, I did the same one. All right. Let's see. I used the same one as I used before that. So let me look in this thing. What did it say? Super fantastic mega news. Um. I'm going to do congratulations. All right, so I'm changing this up. All right, so I haven't used congratulations before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take congratulations out of the container and make sure it lays flat. Pick it up. Now, I've never used this before, so I need to take my Versamark. And we're going to put a little bit of Versamark ink on it. That's just going to kind of prime it. It's going to take any of the um, photopolymer, whatever is left on it, you know, when it's made, so that it will accept the ink better. All right, so we have congratulations. Make sure it's good and inked. Yes! All right, so that's going to go on the inside. Because that, to me... Sounds good to go with this. Super fantastic mega news. Congratulations. All right. 
Congratulations. But wouldn't this be fun? I keep saying that, but this would be, I think, such a fun little present to give somebody who oogles and awes about your cards and just, you know, is not crafty or, or maybe they don't have, you know, they can't um, do like they used to. Maybe they're like an older person. They still, I know granny loved to give cards till she just couldn't anymore, you know, and then my mom would help her. So, like, so somebody like that, they would be so grateful. All right, you might even get one back that you made from that person saying, thank you so much for my gift cards that you made for me. All right, and then your all of your hard work and all the fun you had will go to other people because they will be, oh my gosh, and Edna, I love the card that you sent me. And it's a card you made. So so just kind of think about it. Because these are so cute. All right. So let's put this on the front. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use a couple of these. Now if you're not going to put all 20 in the box, you could maybe poke, poke it up a little higher. All right. So super fantastic. Mega news. Congratulations. And you must say it with the accent. All right, so here is congratulations. Don't ask me why I'm talking weird. All right, so isn't that super cute to you? So there's that one with its little envelope. All right, so I did this one ahead of time. So that one's done. I also did this one i cut the polka dot a little bit bigger on this one has a different greeting on the inside there let's see shall we do one more let's do one more with this paper and this paper so this is kind of like like a hashi mark almost and it's also what I used on on the lid box. So I want to use it somewhere in the card as well. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on that one. So we're just going to put this on the bottom. And then we can decide, you know, what little die cut we want to use. And these are super cute plain because we did do them plain for spring social, like I said, because then the girls could decorate them as I, as I saw fit um, later, you know, when they needed them. But they're super cute just with DSP. So don't stress thinking you have to, you know, do all of this on there. All right, so let me get my inside piece. So this time, Instead of flipping it over and using the stripes, I don't have stripes here. So I'm gonna use this side. Cause no one is seeing the stripes this time cause I didn't fold that flat back. Just a method to my madness, why I do certain things. Sometimes I do things and then I'll look at it later and, and I don't even realize I did it. And then I'm like, oh, well, I must have did it for a reason. So, all right, so there's that. And this gets glued on here. I just like that little bit of white behind there. I think I put white on. That other one, I don't think I missed gluing it. Okay. Then we have all these fun little shapes. How about this one? How about this one? That looks like a cookie. Doesn't it look like a cookie? And I'm pretty sure this is from Scallop, the Scallop dies. But to me, it looks like one of those um, sugar, is it sugar cookies? Whatever. All right, but I think that looks cute. So then we just have to find 
a greeting that goes with that. This one is perfect because you totally deserve it. That's perfect on there because you totally deserve it. I'm like looking. Um, let's see. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I wanted to dry a tad before I start touching it. All right. So hang on a minute because you totally deserve it. Let's see. Is there another one I should use on here? Um, because you totally deserve it. I think. I think I'm going to do that one again because that one kind of goes with everything. Wishing you everything wonderful. Plus, it's right there, readily available. All right. So when I do the other cards, I'll pick some of the different different inks. Like when I do this this um, DSP here, right here, this one. I'll probably um, change and use Sweet Sorbet because you can see Sweet Sorbet in the center of those flowers. And that will draw that um, Sweet Sorbet color more to your eye um, if, you, if you do that. All right, so here is this because you totally deserve it. And again, I'm just going to put a couple little glue dots so it sticks up a little bit but not too much. But I love this one to me. I just want to eat it up. All right. So there's that one. Let's put this on the front. And then I'll let you go. All right. I'll show you the lid of the other one. I think I did show you when I showed the video of all of the Spring Social. But here is a box decorated a little bit differently. It's the same box, but just different DSP. All right, so let me close this, and then I will sit with all these papers that I cut and finish this box, and I will be set for a while. And what's fun is once you get that box, like empty, you have a cute little box that you could put a present in, you know, um, or or just set it on your dresser or something. All right, so here we have, so we have this fun a little box, a little card, and this one that I'll finish, and I'll put a picture on my blog. So I love that rattan. So that that was already got folded. All right, so we did one, two. Let me get these envelopes out of the way so you can see the cards. We have a box. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there is so much more of that DSP. I'm like looking all over for it. Um, so I could, you know, I could make a bunch more. Like I said, this is a few packs. So don't think, wow, that's a big pack. I mean, it is, but this is more than one pack. Um, but look how cute that red is, right? Like that's really, really cute. So I'm going to make, make some with that, but, but I like to, to mix and match. I wanted to just use one pack of DSP, but this one also goes really well with that, um, the gingham, the country gingham pack. It goes really well with that too. So if you want, um, to actually mix and match two DSPs. All right. So let me say, see you later, alligator. All right. So have, um, have, have a great weekend and I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist. Um, don't forget to, um, you know, watch my goodies and guts video so you can see what, um, you can earn for the goodies and guts for qualifying orders in March. And if you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out. Um, otherwise, have a great weekend. Like I said, I'll see you uh, Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist, three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel. Um, Saturday morning, watch about nine o'clock Arizona time. I just usually do like a three minute quick, quick, quick little video. And um, so it's always fun to, to pick which one I'm gonna, <laughs> 
do the editing too. So anyway, so thanks so much for joining me this week. Again, thank you so very much um, for placing your orders to get me over that $1 million in sales. And um, so this was my, my first full week. <laughs> How did that happen? So it has been a whirlwind. So I'm very, very, very blessed. All right, so I'm gonna stop blabbing. Have a great weekend, and I will see you Monday. Bye for now.